A Mackies? Yeah. Not really, you hungry? Yeah, a little bit. Um, bike? Yeah. I guess I don't get the right yours. Yeah. yeah? I do. Go for it, mate. <laughs> oh, my days. Okay, that seat's not as comfy as I thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I start it? Is this because I'm stupid? Yeah. It's in first, I think. Oh! Oh, those pegs are way far back. I like how low. I fucking love the position of it. It's so smooth. This is nice. <laughs> the, it, the throttle is so smooth on it. Oh, it's got a bit of... It's got a bit to it, hasn't it? Oh, yeah. It's so... It feels so small, like... I'm looking at nothing right now over the top of it. It feels so smooth. Oh, I like how... Oh, fuck, yeah. How the dash changes. That's badass. It's got, it's got some. It's got some oomph. Yes, I, I don't like. Well, to be fair, I've just come off my super motor and that the the throttle in get like it's so. Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? That it is so like snatchy. The throttle is so snatchy. So it makes like this feel like it's got no power. But I tell you, it does. Brakes are fucking good. Brakes are really fucking good. Engine brake is pretty good. It's such a smooth bike. <laughs> He's loving the AJP. Oh, mate, that feels like well weird. Like it's too easy to push in. All right, let's do a little rev up real quick. How easy? Oh, it's fucking easy to get into neutral. Now I can tell you, it feels fucking nice. I like it, man. <laughs> can we go around again? Yeah, we can do. Do you want to? Yeah. yeah. I like the bike. Fucking gorgeous bike, innit? Nice, oh, fucking lush bike. So smooth as well. Yeah. You different to your old one? <sighs> See, it's been so long. Um, d definitely the, p the position's completely different. Yeah. Um, but I don't know if that's because I've just come off a lap. Like, 
when I jumped off my R3 on, back onto my Duke, I felt like I was set up right like that. Yeah. Where I sit on that and I feel like I'm more sporty. Yeah, it, it definitely like. Put yeah. Position, it? Yeah. See how nimble it is. Oh fucking hell, this is lightweight. Yeah, you got no problem with that. Let's do a 0 to 60, shall we? I'm quite surprised how, like, actually fast my 200 is now. <laughs> like, because I can hit 60 on coming down now on my low 200. There's a big difference between a 125 and a 200. This has still got enough power, but I can definitely feel the difference now. To show you, oh. There goes my bike. <laughs> There we go, there's 60. Even at 60 does it feel smooth and it feels like it's still got a lot more power at 60. He said he's hit 80 on it before and he said he could get a little bit more out of it, so... I hit 88 on my old one I'm sure this would do that. Super flickable. Yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. A lot? <laughs> I like this a lot. The, the dash is fucking gorgeous. I didn't like it at first. I thought it was way too big and stuff when I saw it in the dealers. But seeing it with all the all the stuff on it and everything, and watch this, ready? Get into the dark and boom, it fucking changes. That is fucking sick. I like that. That is fucking badass. Battery, what? It says the battery. Alright, this is one thing he was explaining earlier. We've got a, a learner. And there, it changes back by itself. This is one thing he's saying. It's got Bluetooth, so you can Bluetooth your... your your um your phone to it and listen to music and if someone calls you it comes up on the screen and all that it's basically like a car dash like it's crazy nowadays i i, I wouldn't be surprised that eventually these fucking these bikes will come with all these bits and we'll have a fucking little sat nav down here and all that it is absolutely gorgeous like the bike is fucking stunning like that front headlight is just I, I just want that in my room, like, to have forever. Like, it's got all these, you can go through all the menus and stuff. And, like, it's very simple, like, you showed me, that's back, up, down, select, or set. So fucking easy. Does it feel like my old Duke? Do you know what? It doesn't. It actually doesn't feel like my old Duke. It feels similar in a lot of ways, engine-wise and stuff. But with a whole new bodywork to it, it, it feels completely different. Now, I haven't ridden a, a Duke in over six months now. It's got the same sound to it, but, like, the same weight, the same flickability, but it just feels different to ride. Like, the position you're in, like having this massive tank here. It definitely feels, it feels different, but... Like, it feels a good different. It's, it feels so smooth. I love it. I really do like it. I like what KTM done to it. They, they did a good job in in changing it over from the old style. I like, like it. I love how he waited for me. Let's do a little rev, ready? <laughs> Even under the tunnel it did it change. That's badass. Alright, let's open her up in the national speed limit a little bit. Now, there's a little delay in power, being a little 125, but then as soon as you hit, whew, I think it's about 6,000, 5,000, 5, 6,000 revs, does you start picking up some speed. And even in 7,000, 8,000, it's still got a little bit more pickup, like it's still pulling on me. So, yeah, it, for you guys on your CBT, this is an absolutely perfect bike. I can chuck it up a little bit more around here. If 
fifth gear up here it's dying out a little bit you've got to really rub the balls out of it but to be fair I'm probably in the wrong gear like half the time because I'm just not used to picking what gear I need to be in on these little bikes so even my 200 feels like it's got a lot more power look at him fly around the corners on my bike <laughs> he gets comfortable real quick he, he's been riding since he was two so i trust him and he crushes my dirt bike i ain't too worried uh, i'm not his, his costs m more than twice what mine does so at 60 miles an hour there's actually not a lot of wind, like, you probably can hear a lot of wind right now, but I'm not hitting a lot, uh, I'm not getting hit by too much, like, it's weird, it's mainly in my, my shoulders, that kind of area, not too much on my helmet, but, yeah, it's not too bad, I'm not feeling a lot of it pushing down on me, oh, that was a bump. It handles the bumps not too badly, actually. Like, that would have hurt on my, uh, my R3. Yeah, second gear, it's got a bit. It ain't gonna wheelie in second. Oh, yeah, it's got a little bit in first. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's great fun. <laughs> Like That's what I was saying, yeah. Between it was a be between I think five and a half and eight thousand yeah. is where it has like all its power and it just fucking wants to chuck you off. Like that's yeah, where all the power is. Fifth and fifth, fourth gear, whatever. Yeah. About eight thousand maybe. Yeah. yeah. They just carries on. Oh yeah. That's another thing I haven't mentioned, is it definitely does feel sturdy at these higher speeds. Like, with my bike, you hit a, you're going at about 60 miles an hour, and the wind starts to, to chuck you about, and you start to wobble and shit. With this, it feels planted. That's the word I was looking for. It feels planted. Right, that's revving it up. I'm always used to like being able to hear the bike so I know when to change with this I'm not oh this could corner so fast I can't see shit though see that's one problem with my bike <laughs> uh, is um, you can't see the indicator <laughs> so he's indicating right now but like you can see it it's just in the in the sun you can't see the uh, the indicator on the on the screen, and he's used to lo looking at this fucking massive thing. So I don't blame him. So just ignore that, shall we? <laughs> oh, the brakes are insanely good. The brakes are better than my R 3s It's got the power you need for a 125. It's a lot faster than other, like quite a lot of 125s. As always with these first rides, guys, this one's a bit of an unexpe unexpected one, so I haven't planned out for it. But all the specs will be down in the description. Um, I've tried to get as much footage on bike and off bike as I can. And guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button so I know you've enjoyed it. I know there's not much structure to it, I know it's kind of been all over the shop, but I've tried to give you my lowdown of the KTM Duke 125 2017 edition. 
I absolutely love it. It's super smooth. It sounds great. There's enough torque for your for your liking on your CBT. Um, and as I've always said, at 125 is the, the like there is enough power in a 125 for the UK roads. It's probably do you know what? No, I'm gonna say it. It's the most good looking. 125 out there like it is seriously the best looking 125 out there hundred percent Like I love the new Tuano 125, but no nah, this This is so much better did they just pull over for me? I don't know But yeah, I actually love it. The dash is fucking amazing There's so much on there with all this Bluetooth and stuff the technology has got is fantastic the reliability is supposed to be a hell of a lot better than the older models um, as you guys know, I'm a short rider and I can flat foot this thing. Um, well, I, I normally put one foot down. Uh, so I, I, I think it's slightly lower than my the old model. I probably can flat foot it if I stick my legs down. Yeah, I can flat foot this. Yeah, if you're not going to do a load of motorway speeds, then if, if you're just doing city riding, 125s are perfect. I like how it still has the feature of where the... Uh, like symbols and stuff light up in the dark so you can see it let's pin it a little bit is super light easy to engage I got used to the biting point instantly on this bike so it's very very learner friendly gears are super easy to use dual carriageways and motorway speeds not too bad you if you're on a CBT you won't be doing motorways anyway yeah guys here's a good bike a fucking good bike So yeah, there you go guys, my review of the KTM Duke 125 2017. <laughs> it is a fantastic bike.